things because when he said that about, he said it's not the time for all of that, you know, I was sitting and asking the Lord, what should I say? So happened the Lord told me to say, just look at your neighbor and say this one, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> Intertwined with the Spirit. But coming from the main scripture, that is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to verse 7, and as it was read at the beginning of services, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, headed, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. And you know, that was just indicating to me, you know, I'm being a young person, I know a lot of us young people, we often, some things may bore us in church. If it's not a praise break going on, some of us find ourselves bored. But you know, I've got to the point, I don't come to church looking for a praise break. I don't come waiting on my favorite song or waiting on the right word. But I come to get an experience from God. I come for a move of God, an encounter that I have not experienced. And so what I learned in this, in this day and time, we're learning that the Bible is just fulfilling itself. And a lot of the saints are shocked about what's going on in the Supreme Court and what's going on out there in the world, but we are to let our light shine as the Bible tells us to. What we have to do as saints is hold fast to the purity of the message of Jesus Christ and his death and his resurrection and not grow tired or weary. For the Bible tells us, be not weary in well-doing. For in new seasons we shall reap if we faint not. If you have ever believed in God before, this is the time to believe him again. If you have ever Thank you. 